Hey guys, thanks for watching. It's uh, kind of cold in the morning in Long Beach and Nick and I are playing in the back nine. Nick's a uh, college student that is like an obsessed golfer, not on a golf team or anything, but really obsessed with golf. And the last time we played out here, which was only about a week ago, Nick shot his best score ever. What was it, Nick? 66. 66. So, and what was your best before that? 68. See? So uh, you can be better, it especially helps if you're young, but you can happen. So, uh, and I played pretty well that day too. I shot even, I was feeling pretty good, but Nick just blitzed me. So we're gonna play a uh, match today. Nick just hit his ball to the right, and I hit my ball to the left. So this is where my tee shot ended up. I am about, uh, 10 steps to the left of the fairway, but the rough isn't difficult here. And I have a eight iron that is um, a little bit of a stretch for me. And I got a swing thought in my head about taking a short backswing there like I've done in a recent video. Try and uh, exactly, I tried, I tried to take this really short swing. I felt like I was too short and I overswung on the way down. And the result was a very ugly swing, but it went pin high. Uh, but, you know, in trying to go down so hard at it, I uh, put a little bit too much right hand into it. And that was a very long lag putt that uh, was misread, and it never got close. And then I had this one, which, which missed, so I was off to a bad start against Nick. Which I'll, I'll tell you about Nick uh, more in a minute, but here's Nick's putt for par. He hit... Two par. He, was, he actually had a birdie putt just from uh, 10 feet under the hole and hit that aggressively and then uh, saved his par pretty easily. And then Nick just demolished this drive. He's an extremely long player, very, very fast swing speed. I think it's up around like 124 or something like that. And uh, he hits it super solid, very good driver of the ball. Doesn't really have a lot of holes in his, games or anything, in his game or anything. That was my best drive of the day. This is a dog leg right. So I knew I really had to, uh, you have to shape it. You can't really hit a straight shot because then you'll just go uh, through the fairway. So here I'm really trying to keep the face square to maybe kind of feeling a little bit open and swing into the left. And I actually shaped that one really nicely. Hit a great drive. And uh, here I am. Here I am out in the fairway, 92 yards. And actually, I'm in a little bit of a divot there, but it's in the front of a divot. It's actually helping me a little bit because I can catch the ball very cleanly. And I hit a really nice wedge shot there. It landed only about two feet from the hole and then jumped just past it. But uh, I nipped it really nicely. You can see how much further, even though I hit it really nice, uh, my drive really hard, Nick was uh, hit it that much further than me. And he did the same thing from his angle. He landed it right on the hole and rolled just past. So here's Nick for birdie. He's already one up in the match. And uh, he just rolled it past there. And uh, he's a very good putter, but uh, he let that one get away from him. And then, so here's me to win the hole. It'd be nice to get one back immediately. And that actually, I mean, even from this camera, you can see that looks like that should have broke down towards where Nick is, but it didn't. So I'm cleaning up and I made my par. So Nick needs to make this to have the hole. And I think he just looked up on it a little bit. So then uh, my camera wasn't filming the approach shot for this par three, 138 yards, but this is where we went. And this is at both after our tee shots. So here's Nick chipping for birdie. And he is kind of like a, uh, a low lofted iron for this chip shot and he pulls it off nicely here. It's, it's a sh this is a shot that uh, Patrick Harrington told me that I should develop, but I, it's just so hard for me. I always hit it so far past the hole when I use something like an eight iron or even a nine iron to chip. So here, here am I putting and I'll putt any chance I can get when I'm on any kind of fringe or anything. So that was close enough. Nick kicked that back to me. And here's Nick to stay tied with me. and confidently makes it. So here's the 13th hole. The match is all square, par four, 318 yards. And uh, Nick, like I said, is an extremely long driver of the golf ball. 
and uh, got gr he has great flexibility and everything. He just crushed this ball. It was really good, and you can see there that's where his ball ended up. So he landed just in front. He probably carried it 299 yards. So let's check out his his swing. Nick goes to Monty Scheinbloom as well. He's a student there. You can just see a, a lot of flexibility, a lot of width, and uh, and really good lag without it being something that restricts him. Just kind of natural lag. So here's my swing, and I'm really just trying to hit the fairway. Uh, so I, I hit it down the left-hand side, and then I bled it back to the right. So I'm sitting out there at about, so there's Nick's ball. And if we pull out, here's my, here's my ball. Nick hit his absolutely perfectly. I hit mine probably not that great, but it, it turned out straight. So I knew that if I was going to have a chance, I needed to ignore the distances and just try to play my own ball. So that was one of the best pitch shots I've hit because that was 40 yards. And I knew for sure with him sitting here putting for eagle and uh, no real holes in Nick's game that I was going to have to make at least birdie. So I was definitely going to have to make this putt. So I got about, so Nick's tapped in for birdie and I got about, what is that? About four and a half feet for birdie to have the hole. And I made it. And I knew that was crucial. And this match was a friendly match, but it was really one that I wanted to win desperately because uh, Nick is a viewer of my channel and uh, a guy that plays here at the golf course. And he uh, really doesn't think I'm on his level and I'm probably not on his level. He's like a plus two handicap, uh, maybe even a plus three handicap, and I'm closer to a, and I'm the other way. I'm like a plus, I'm like a two handicap or a three handicap. So I'm really, uh, uh, but you know, Nick and I are really good friends, but sometimes you want to beat your friends even more than you want to beat a complete stranger, uh, most times. So I'm uh, incredibly motivated to win this match. So that was me, I drove my ball to the right and then I had to hit a hook shot up over a tree and back into the fairway, which I did uh, really nicely. That was a seven iron over that tree. Now this is a pitching wedge from 128 yards. And this swing I really liked because uh, it's kind of a shot that I didn't, it, it's a super stock shot, just a normal pitching wedge. I mean, 128 yard pitching wedge in this weather is about a normal pitching wedge for me, but it just felt so on plane. And what I really liked about it is I felt that I could fully release it and not worry about it going left, which my short irons uh, pulling them left was a major problem before. So there's Nick's approach. He also uh, drove it to the right off the tee and had to lay up. So he just hit a terrible approach putt, and then uh, he has a lot, probably six and a half, almost seven feet left. And this is my putt for birdie, and that missed. So missed a little bit there. It's another another misread. I don't get a lot of putts Nick from for par. above this hole, and I didn't read it well. Oh, great putt. Nick just saved an awesome par there. So here on the next hole, uh, my camera actually didn't didn't capture uh, any of this hole except for the putts. So we're gonna skip straight to the putts. I hit a terrible drive that somehow stayed in bounds, and then I hit a seven iron, and then a 60 degree wedge to where you see my ball in the front. That's Nick's putt for birdie after he drove it up the right. And again, uh, his lag putt, his lag putting kind of let him down there, but. He's a really good short putter and just made that one. So Nick's in for par and I need to make this. And uh, kind of like I said before, I'm extremely motivated to win this match. And usually in golf, unlike football or wrestling or a lot of other sports, motivation doesn't really count for too much. But sometimes you can align your motivation with your actual uh, performance. So 142 yards up the hill. Nick, I think, had pitching wedge here, and he hit it. I mean, he didn't react great to it, but he hit it pin high, just to the right, and he hit it fairly solidly. Then I gave Nick my phone, and he was shooting it up and down. Uh, but you get the point. So here I have an eight iron, and I knew I needed to hit a little less than normal on this eight iron, and 
that was just so that was just uh, completely pure for me. I landed. You can kind of see my divot there, just uh, two feet in front of the hole before I fixed it, and uh, it jumped straight back to where the cup is. Nick again is taking that low lofted iron and hitting his wedge to there, and here is my my birdie putt, and I got above the hole, and I was really thinking with only um, two holes left in the match after this hole, I was going to have to make that to have a chance of winning. I was pressing a little bit, and then I went and quick hit this one, hit probably the worst looking putt I've ever hit on this channel as far as head movement and a lot of other things, just terrible. So then I totally left the door open for Nick to, to win this hole now, and it's very annoying to do oh. that. Let off the hook. But he let me off the hook. I was extremely lucky that he didn't see the he didn't see the break that I also didn't see. So and then on the seventeenth hole, uh, so I have a uh, the slow motion camera going here. Let's check out Nick's swing quickly. So hallmark of a lot of really long players, a lot of width there, a ton of flexibility great leg and then he squares up the face nicely and look how much he's posting on that front leg uh, when you can have a lot of leg and yes. leg and then kind of post on your your uh, your leg to kind of snap the towel so to speak that can translate into a ton of speed I uh, am really my swing is kind of at this point in the match it was kind of wonky at the, at the beginning it was really solid, and then uh, so I actually hit it down the left side, and it cut across the entire fairway, went into the rough here. So I have 238 yards with my three hybrid, and I know for sure that uh, birdie on these par fives is just like crucial. And I actually hit my ball. You won't see it, but I hit my ball right to the fringe there. As usual, I always hit my hybrids really well in this uh, in general, and I hit my hybrid right to the front fringe. And this is slowed down just to give me a time enough to talk. So then Nick is, uh, he's just hitting a five iron lo uh, low but hard. And he got his to the front of the green as well, just off the front of the green. He got up and down and I putted up and down. So we both had birdie on that hole, the 17th. Cut to the, uh, we both hit our shots in the fairway on the 18th. And this is my approach. So this is an eight iron in my hand. And for some reason this hole, you just have to smash it. It is uphill, but even though it's uphill, you got to smash it even more to get it there. And I thought I had hit it over the green, so I'm standing there in the fairway thinking I'm going to need a really tough up and down to even have a chance because Nick is sitting pretty here. This is a 52 degree wedge from 110 yards, and he's posing on this because he just thought that he stiffed this. From Later, he told me that he thought that this was you know, going to be something really close inside 10 feet. So this is for birdie from, and I actually didn't go long. I was thrilled that I was pin high. This is about a three finger putt on this bending green and Nick was shooting this and it went in. Yeah. And as I've always said on my channel, local rule is you're okay to hit the, to leave the stick in because I want you guys to be able to see where the cup is. And that's a birdie. So this is Baker Cup, right? Yeah. Nick's right. This is to make her go home. So uh, that birdie for me is one under. There's three birdies and it's one under for this nine holes for me. And Nick has to make this to tie me. And he's a real competitor, so I knew he didn't That's like that. That's a good victory for me. I feel good about that. Nick is about a plus two handicap, so I feel good about that. Thanks for watching, guys. It took three cameras to film this because I because I'm having major camera issues recently. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.